Hi everybody, just doing a quick update video on my Family Guy pinball machine that I got off eBay. This was basically gutted, there was no internal parts, it was just the case. And I had an idea of something I wanted to make, which is basically a crazy climber and a missile command. Now I posted a video before, uh, I've already got the trackball working as you can see here, uh, which was originally the ball launch section of the Stewie pinball. And I used some Bondo to uh, fill in the other holes for the two uh, paddles, and I put in two micro joysticks. Now, I haven't had a lot of time as of late to work on anything, so I really didn't get too much further than this. I have an HDMI 4.3-inch uh, screen there, Raspberry Pi 3, uh, but I haven't put the buttons in at this point or had the joysticks actually working. They were just physically there. Well, I had a couple hours this evening to uh, tweak this a little bit, and I had actually already put in some of the uh, holes there for the buttons, but let's see how far I've gotten today. So as you can see here, I have all the buttons put in place. Uh, I did have to take the trackball out temporarily because I had to wire everything and the trackball mechanism was just in the way of the top buttons. So let's take a quick look at how the buttons and controllers are currently set up in the system. Buttons are all set up again. I had to take the trackball out to get everything wired. But we have our quarter, game start, escape. We have our two joysticks. I made this to play a one joystick for games like Pac-Man and stuff. I just prefer it on this side. And then when using this joystick, you're actually using these buttons here. So player one joystick, player one buttons. It's not joystick, buttons, joystick, buttons. So this joystick goes to these buttons here, which is A, B, and X. And then this joystick here goes to A, B, and X over here. Um, you see I haven't stuffed everything in the machine yet. And uh, this camera is not doing justice to what uh, I'm seeing on this display here. I'll try and get better video when I get a better camera as usual. But for right now, let's get it started. So I'm going to put a quarter in. And it accepted it. That's going to start the game. And I got my two joysticks here. And I'm not sure how well that's coming out, but it, he's climbing up the building. I'll see if I can get a better camera. Okay, I have to admit, my camera is just not doing justice here. Also, the screen is not fully adjusted. It's only showing, you know, part of the screen. I still have a little bit to do on it, but that's an easy adjustment to make it go larger there. But um, at least you can see that the joysticks were making the climber and go up the building. I'm trying to get closer here, but it's that's why uh, God should have given us three arms. One for each crazy climber, and then one to hold the camera. So this is at least showing you how the screen does look. It's very, very sharp. It's an HDMI screen. Uh, it's very crisp. Um, the, also, the audio is not really working yet. I have to put an amplifier in there. But you can see he is climbing. I'm only using one hand, so that's why he was only climbing with one arm. But the, both arms do work. See, I'm trying to even do it this way. It's just impossible. You need both hands. But I hope you guys just get an idea of um, how this is coming along. So this will have the ability to do games like Crazy Climber, you know, Robotron, or any uh, games that require two joysticks, as well as single joystick games. It also has a trackball for games like Missile Command. Marble Madness, Tempest, and Centipede, and I'm still going to try and actually fit a uh, spinner in here for Tempest. I mean, I could play Tempest with the trackball, and it does work, but it'd be nice to get a spinner in here as well. So I'm really trying to make this thing a jack of all trades, and it's it's kind of small, so I'm hoping I'll have enough room for all that. But in any case, this would just be a, a quick update video of something I've been able to accomplish as of late, and I'm hoping to have it finished soon and get some nice uh, decals put on there as well. So I do thank you guys for all tuning in for this little video. Please leave any comments down below. I do appreciate you guys taking the time to see the videos and take some time out of your day to spend some time looking at some of my projects. So again, everyone, have a great day. Thanks for tuning in. And remember, game on.
Sit, Blue Blue, sit. Good dog.